Good morning. I had no intention. I don't know. It feels. Let me wait. All right. So I wasn't planning on vlogging, but I decided to pick up my camera and vlog. Oh, guess what? My wet t-shirts are ready. Ah! This process has been so hectic. Um, so let me give you a backstory. We collaborated. Or should I pop you guys up? First, first of all, get a view of this. I love it so much. So we have three different designs. Um, same thing, same color. We just wanted something simple that embodies Mawa. Um, we have three different colors. So should I do my makeup first? And then come here. Or let me just quickly fill you guys in. So we worked with Ed. Ed is a really good friend of mine, my fellow Leo. <laughs> and um, we've collaborated before. And so when I knew I wanted to create like a unique design that would appear on sort of like Mawa merchandise, I knew Ed was a person. I really um, admire and love his creativity, his talent, all those things. So reached out. The first design, I think I'll I'll find a picture and share was a bit bland and plain so I knew it was it was okay but it didn't have that Mawa spaz um, and I think if we followed Mawa or if you've interacted with like our collections we tend to have very floral and bright and nice colors I would I dare say so I knew I wanted something colorful um yeah and ed did that for me so it comes in three different color schemes let me say color schemes because it's not really designs but it's color schemes i think i wanted to write something but i wouldn't i will let it be um yeah that's pretty much it so they are available to purchase i will leave my words i keep saying this guys and you keep calling me out because nicola shall be on buyer but um I will try and leave my handles in the description box so that come on just get order. We have them in black and white, which are my favorite t-shirt colors. So I'll show you the white one as well in the course of this vlog. But let me do my makeup first, but I'm excited because we have beautiful merchandise. Thanks, Ed. If you ever watch this, thank you, thank you, thank you. You upped it yourself. Clearly, I did my makeup. Um, I talked to the guys in the morning and I told them I was going to do my makeup and then fill them in on the t-shirts but the liar I am I finished everything um, it's now 4 p.m. <laughs> well I'm not a liar I just things got in the way it's not good to see things that aren't true I'm not a liar do you remember last time when a group of experts were talking about how I had a bad hair day or I was like I went to Oh, a bunch of experts. He wrong. means you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> that's a little bit too 90 degrees to the front, mate. Did you get the white card? <laughs> He's actually insulting you guys. Like, oh, you guys are experts. <laughs> well, they also insulted me. So, you know, like we can have banter. Us, yeah. Yeah. So guys, were, I, I was, it was not a bad hair day. This thing was healing. Yeah. Me. He I got a procedure SMB. that, a which procedure. is scalp micro pigmentation. It's yeah. like microblading for a layman's term, and I hope I don't. It's like my, my, it. my, micro blading for the hairline. Exactly. Just, just simple. They just restore your hairline. So, yeah, that's what he. So does. because they don't give you hair, it's just yeah. the the line now looks a bit more, more. refined. So, yeah. but the time we were doing that vlog, it had not healed. It had not healed. It had it hadn't healed. It hadn't healed. So it's the Buddha guys. The Buddha guys. Uh, it had not healed, but because I love you guys so much, I decided to say, you know what? I'm going, going to put to my pride video. aside, and I'm going to talk to my people <laughs> because I love them. Then I speak to my people, and then uh, they come for excuse you. Excuse me, mate. You look kind of funny. <laughs> you know, Ben is making all these jokes because he's trying to cover up some pain. He oh. made a foolish mistake of not going through a contract. And it's costed him quite a bit of money. Um, and I'm just here laughing at him, telling him that it's a price of ignorance. Yeah. And then on the flip side, mini leave your foundation of all things. Somebody's too fenty. Like, do you know you're in Chungu Zara? Somebody came into my room, uh, came into the house, and all they took from that house, and I'm not kidding you guys. I feel like today is haphazard and all they took from that house guys I promise you it's Fenty so you tell Foundation them, you tell them who it is no, like... no that's too much that's TMI 
That's too much information. <laughs> but just no, know you can tell them. they they like, were in the house. No, it's okay. Team, it's okay. Ben, excuse me, this is my story to tell. <laughs> Let's just say we had trusted this person to enter the house and when they got into the house they didn't stay for long. And when they left without a warning, the only thing they took was <laughs> Fenty Foundation. And if you use Fenty Foundation, you know how semi difficult it is to find it in Kenya. A. B it's quite pricey. And I'm just like oh, well, and you know like they were complimenting me telling me eh no na pakanga makeup vizuri. Kumbe they had plans for my family. You know I didn't even tell you. The day before they left, I found like the top of my the top of the Fenty foundation was dirty. It looked like somebody had been using it, had been using a bit of foundation and then it smudged and then it You know, one problem I normally see with you mm. is that you're not paranoid. Because I With me, even the way I leave my things. Looks like the CI. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I find it's been changed, I'll be like, oh something somebody, weird somebody's here. Somebody's trying to, to, to like mess me up. But anyway, that's what's happening in my life. Now I have to budget for foundation and foundation is so freaking expensive let's try this again my camera has just run out of juice so you make sure battery pile i don't have the charger steve who shoots from blueberry who shoots ben's podcasts is the one who has it um so i think i'll have to go to bed i'll have to because i wanted to do a style haul i started when i first started youtube i was doing a lot of hauls and they used to be fun i haven't done them i don't think i've done any haul this year Wait, I have. I think I've done a Made in Kenya one um, just before I launched Moa. And by the way, let me tell you guys. First of all, Moa sweatshirt. I started the video with a Moa t-shirt. Now I'm doing a Moa sweatshirt, which I really, really like. Um, let me tell you guys something. After I've started Moa, I've made a conscious effort to wear more Kenyan brands because I have seen firsthand the work that goes behind um a fashion line so i cannot of course i can't wear my wear every day because I, we don't we don't have like pants um we don't have things like jackets or things like that at least just yet right now we're just we started light so just tops dresses um pants which i think i'll bring back but now that like i'm in the thick of things now that i understood a lot of what goes behind creating a fashion line and i'm in the thick of things now i'm just like yeah i kind of want to just wear more and more kenyan outfits so if i'm able to wear a kenyan outfit a kenyan brand it's it just makes me so happy so today i'm wearing two kenyan brands i'm wearing um, a wear sweatshirt of course representing um and then my tights are shop z2 from vivo so I'm so happy that makes me every time and Ben can attest to this that every time I get to wear a Kenyan brand I'm always like I'm wearing Kenyan there's a time um I don't know when it was like I was wearing all Kenyan brands and I was so so happy so like today's one of those days again that I'm wearing all Kenyan brands My usual spot um getting ready this is i feel like this video will be dedicated to mawa i broke my nail and i should be going for a fixation today at lux i don't know if i'll get the time but it's also mawa day today i'm wearing this blouse sampling it it should be coming out this week towards the end of the week so far so good it's my second time wearing it i like to wear the coats a lot so that by the time you guys are wearing it. I know how it washes. I can answer any of your questions about how it feels, how it washes, all those nitty gritty questions. It was my birthday. Um, today is Tuesday. Well, I shoot this. It was my birthday on Sunday. I had the most loveliest of times. I had lunch with my friends and then dinner with my family. I had some gifts. Can you imagine? I've never opened, I've never owned a Coco Chanel um scent so my friend gifted me this one the coco chanel mademoiselle i now understand it's a very very big scent famous scent and i absolutely love it so that's one um the other thing was a scented candles a scented candle guys 
I love scents, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so that's why I got scents. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then you guys know I have been working with Nivea for a long, long time now, since last year. I hope this video is in focus, otherwise, since last year. And then I just started working with Kasha like a month ago, Kasha Kenya, which is an online um, store for everything female, all your female needs. So I have been dying to get my hands on this perfect and radiant um, luminous anti-dark marks. I've been seeing um, a lot of the content they've been putting out, the stories behind how it works on Instagram and I have been coveting and I've been like I need to get my hands on it so this one I did spend my money I bought it off of Kasha I will leave <laughs> does this sound familiar I will leave um, Kasha Kenya's link in the description box in case you're interested to buy this and I got it once when it was 10% off the reason why I got this one is they say it's perfect if you're struggling with dark spots I do have you if you've been an OG here you know I've struggled here and there with dark spots right now they're not so bad but they they are there um now that I have makeup you can't really see them because the makeup has done a good job concealing but I do have some dark spots so I'm hoping this will help it also comes with SPF 50 I've been seeing as I said I've seen a lot of the content that they have been putting out about how it works um, the results the reviews and I decided why not try it? It's only been, I haven't even clocked a week. They say eight weeks for you to see visible results. Um, so I can't really speak to it. It's just, it's been less than a week. I can't really give you my um, honest review, but maybe as time goes by, I'm hoping it will help in clearing my spots. Um, also, that wasn't really a bad thing to myself. It was just like something I felt like I should mention. Um, also, in line with my word day, I also have another sample here that I have been trying out. It does have a bit of issues that I need to take back to the fundi. But it's the Waridi dress. If you've seen the Waridi dress, I'll put a picture here. We've just put it into, we've done it with a different fabric this time. Dark but very structured fabric. Um, I really wanted to do pants or like a set with this one, but I couldn't because... Ah, but I can make a long kimono, that's something. Actually, I can make a long kimono. I'll think about that. That's a really good idea. <laughs> That's a really good idea. So anyway, depending on how this one works, we haven't done too many of this type, of this fabric, of this variety dress, only because I didn't know how it would be received. Coming from a dress that was already popular in one print, I'm scared of changing the print. But So that's why I made just a few pieces to see how people receive it. It does have a bit of issues when I tied it around. Kuna vile hawaku kata fabric vizuri. So I need to take it back to the fundi today and hope because if they're done with production, I hope it was just the sample that was messed up. Otherwise, it's going to be a sharinch. But yeah, this one, I think I might make a long kimono in the remaining fabric because as I said, we bought bulk fabric, but we've only made kidogo with this wrap dress. It's just to see the reception. So with that, we can gauge. Mm, yeah. I guess that's what's been happening. So show you guys a few of the new in things. So there's that scent that smells divine, actually. My friend also, Lillian, the same person who got me the uh, the Chanel scent. I really don't know how to describe scents, but I know this one is just really, really good. Um, it smells amazing. Received tons and tons of compliments. She gave me two more testers. Um, these are all Maison. Um, this is the Oud, Satin Mood. And then this one is the Ameris. I hope I'm saying them and I'm not butchering. I really like the Amis, which is what I will be putting on today. It costs quite a hefty amount in my opinion. So I think I'm going to save that and buy that for myself for Christmas as a Christmas gift because my birthday just um, came and passed and I got myself what I really wanted for my birthday. I had told you guys that I already got myself my birthday gift earlier on this year. So this year I was just chillaxing. That was that. I think that's that. Other than that, I think a lot of, I feel like this vlog has featured a lot of my work things only because I think that's become my life right now. If it's not content, if it's not life, then it's either something my work related. I doubt I will wear this top today. It feels so official. Cause and I want something chilled, you know, my style is very casual. So maybe I, I might just wear the black t-shirt, the black my work t-shirt because I love it so much. Wait, might get a little bit dirty and I don't think it's clean either. My sister wore it over the weekend, so I doubt it's clean, but 
Ah, so nice this top. I wish I had really nice high waisted jeans. Perfect, but we have a winner. Okay, smell nice. This Amir is it costs as I said quite a hefty amount, but I'm I'm saving up. That's my Christmas gift to myself. Right, let me chat to you guys just for a few minutes about my birthday. Um, because I think someone reached out to Instagram on Instagram. I think I can't remember her name, sorry. And she said that oh now what are you? Now, I haven't shared my lessons. I don't think I'll be sharing my lessons this time around. But um, three very important, not three, three very important people, including myself. So I'm the first one. And then my mom and then somebody else that I share a lot with. Um, they told me, they kind of just like echoed the same thing, around the same thing. Because for me, I wanted to be happier. Not that I haven't been happy, but I wanted to be in charge of my own happiness. I didn't want my happiness to be pegged on how much I have, how things are working out for me, or my relationships. Like, I just wanted my happiness to come from within. And so even, like, when I was my birthday eve that night, I told Ben that this year I just pray that I will find happiness from within. Um, and that my happiness would not be circumstantial. It wouldn't be pegged on anything. And then my mom was like, I really pray that this year you discover like your purpose if you haven't. And if you have, that you will continue to fu fully live in it. And then um, the other person told me that they're praying for me that I will get the right, that my relationships will grow. And that I will be surrounded by people who love me, who care for me, and who accept me for who I am. Which is, which is not something that I have struggled with before, but I've also struggled with being in spaces where you feel like you can't be your honest self because you you kind of hold back. I don't know if that if you relate, or maybe because you don't know someone, so you're scared of, you don't want really to cross our VUCA boundary, something like that, and so. All those three things um, just, I think, have set the mood for what I want my 20-something year, because I'm saying I'm 26. My 26th year, I'm 26 forever. I w they've set the mood for how I want my 26th year to be. Um, full of happiness, full of working in my purpose, and full of great relationships. I think they become those my three pillars for this year. So happiness, um, purpose, and great relationships and I think I have been intentional in uh, resources right about now so th doing little things that make me happy so like maybe waking up early instead of going on social media which is something I'm guilty of all the time like today I woke up um, what did I do today I woke up I made breakfast I had breakfast alone and then I listened to some Jesus music that sets the mood it's given me actually a very very it's boosted my spirits by the way now that we're on that subject I think I will be introducing a song of the week a song of the vlog we can call it song of the vlog and I think for this one for this one it could be I smile music is a great healer for me I really love listening to music and I think for this vlog we can go with I smile by um, Kirk Franklin. I will link it below because it's a mood lifter. Even though things are not working right, smile. So as I said, I've been looking for resources just to try and set the mood for myself, be it books, be it podcasts, um, what I'm saying, doing little things. I came across a class on Skillshare. You guys know I've been big on Skillshare. Um, it's called, I don't want to do, you know, the, the best thing about Skillshare, in my opinion, is how you're able to get classes. Like if for every mood that you're in, sort of. So maybe you're in somewhere where you're feeling more business-minded. I'm thinking about my way and all those things. I'm, I have business classes. So maybe I want to get my creativity going. I have classes on photography, videography, all of those things. Um, I think it's the perfect um, space for a creative person who wants to learn and acquire a new skill. So for now, because I'm in that space in my life and I'm looking for resources, I came across um, this class, Designing the Life You Want, Four Classes for Clarity and Motivation. It's a class by, let me get her name, Michelle B. Michelle, not Michelle, Michelle, I think I said it right. Michelle B. It's an amazing class. It's
a class that's perfect if you're reflecting on your life like you know you're at a place of reflection like i am figuring out what you want for your life like for me in my new year they said something that i found like would be very very instrumental reflecting on your life what you want what you don't want and who you want to show up as is some of the most important self-work that you can do and we don't tend to do it enough it's only a 22 minute class um, all the classes are just 22 minutes it's very simple the classes have been broken down into like four minutes um, five minutes or so something that's very simple they explore the 80 20 rule or principle that helps with your productivity it's an amazing amazing class as usual I will leave a link in the description box for the first a thousand people to click the link we'll get to enjoy a free Skillshare premium membership for you to join me on this journey of seeking happiness purpose um, great relationships and maybe Skillshare would be a great place for us to learn and to gain the resources amongst other things that I will be sharing with you that I'm doing in the course of time not on this vlog but in the course of time but yeah I just wanted to share those things with you um, now we are off to work I really really smell nice this Aniris Aki oh god help me because I might just get it before my birthday before Christmas for myself because it's been it smells so time to end the vlog still wearing the same sweatshirt um thank you so much for watching this video I hope you will support mobile once it comes out um the outfits the t-shirts the tops the dresses I hope you will you will support and you will buy thank you so much for watching this video please do subscribe if you haven't I'll see you guys in the next one